We are live on the internet. Uh, right now? Right now. Oh, no. Oh, man. Okay. So, before I can invite you to this, by the way. Yes. We have to select our setting. All right. Uh, so fantasy horror, apocalypse, cyberpunk, battle, or custom. Oh man, what was the first one? Fantasy. What was the second one? Horror. Let's okay. Let's start off with something like one that everybody knows. So let's start off with fantasy, and All then right. we'll come back to the other ones. Generating story. Oh, I have to put in my character name before I can invite you. Oh no, maybe not. I think I can invite you. No, not until I put in a character name. Uh, I, uh, let me invite you. Oh. Hey. 
thanks, thanks for, for the, four, the months. Uh, four months, Mike. Uh, I thought that was you inviting that. me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and they really made it easy, didn't they? With the uh, with these links, there you go. You know it. Okay. So just click this, and then I'm I'm in, right? I assume so. It says either that or when you hit join game, you paste it in there. Hey, look, I got this sick email. Let me go back to the game. I have joined the adventure. Okay. Uh, the fantasy is being debt free. I mean, true. So there's there are action buttons, by the way. If you click the bottom left on your name, you can change. Yeah, the you can switch between story, uh, what you say. And what you do. Uh huh. All right. You ready, Logan? You ready to go on an adventure? Uh, of course I am. Our story begins with a group of adventurers living in the medieval kingdom of Larion. Uh, the kingdom is filled with small villages and thatched cottages and has <laughs> been relatively peaceful until now. The adventurers are on a quest to find a magical staff of Zalos. Uh, they walk through the forest and notice a band of mountain dwarves. The dwarves are friendly and offer them food and drink. Then one of the dwarves turns to them and says, I think our band of mercenaries has been kidnapping people and taking them to a large clearing in the forest. I think they're going to kill them. I... I right. made my name uh, Florbo the Wise, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dingus the Betrayer. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Florbo and Bingus. <laughs> I just enjoy that we have we have both given ourselves titles in here already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna say something. Do it. You want? Makes you say that. Bingus the Betrayer. Oh, I guess you should say it. Uh, Bingus the Betrayer says, what makes you say that? I wish I made you a different color for me. Uh, oh. The AI doesn't know what to say. Alter, undo, or try again. Okay, wow. let's try again. Uh, I can't believe we, we messed it up in one saying. All right, I'm going to click try again. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe maybe if I say something, but I think we have to alter or do. Okay. Two days ago, I went on patrol. Oh, this is the goblin. Two days ago, I went on patrol in the forest and it didn't return. What? I went on patrol in the forest and didn't return. That makes no sense. Uh, I was lost for days before stumbling upon their camp. I assume this is you speaking. How many mercenaries were there? I don't know. Like 40, I think. <laughs> so uh, what do you want to do? It's loading. Take me to them! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you mean you've been going on these raids? What? Also, no clues... No close uh, quotations. I think when that does that, because I've played with this before, I think that that insinuates that they're going to say more stuff. Oh. Also, um, Burgess Meredith fan, I don't know what that means, is uh, giving, giving them tips. Okay. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do what they uh, the tips that they've said and say, did the mercenaries? Oh, thank God for autocorrect. <laughs> Look friendly.
No. Most of them were picking off wounded or dead. Nope. Not friendly. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All uh, right. Lead, I guess. Uh, lead the way. <laughs> Lord <laughs> of the Wise is a great name. Oh, you're you're leading, apparently. Biggest leads you to the edge of the forest. <laughs> Then he stops and raises his head. All of a sudden, a large group of dwarves come out, all holding various weapons. They are surrounding your small group of me, you, and a dwarf. Okay, uh, I'm going to say surrender now and wait. Hug the dwarves. Okay, I'm going to hug them. <laughs> hug the dwarves. Uh, Burgess Meredith is an actor who played Penguin in the 60s Batman. Oh, okay. Penguin. Good. No. Hug the dwarves is what I'm going to say. Uh, biggest the betrayer hugs the hug the dwarves. You walk up and to the lead dwarf. He looks like he could be the one in charge. He stares at you and then puts his hand on your heart. And says, uh, yeah. <laughs> you're personally, you're personally, hold on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say something. What does that mean? <laughs> it means you're a welcome surprise. Welcome, Baji. Baji? Yes, you're a Baji. Says, where Say, where did you get that fancy armor? This How's is it going, dude. How's it going, dude? How's it going, dude? Dude, thanks for the follow. How's it going, dude? Let me fix. I am I not on the right mic? I don't know. You sound blown out now. Hello. Hello. Dude. Hello. I. I don't know what's going on. Something has happened. Can you still hear me? No, I'm not yes. on my headset mic. I just pulled I pulled my headset mic out of my headset. So <laughs> out of your computer. I just yanked it. You just sound I don't blown out. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Uh I mean I've I've so Back to this. Yeah, so you guys those are super blood out. Uh Okay. I'm going to Hmm, he's asking me where I got my fancy armor. Lower my mic setting in Windows. I I just turned it up because Brandon said it sounded like I was very far away. He did. I had him cranked up and everything. He was super low. Let me turn this back down. All right, I turned it back down. All okay. right. Sounds fine now. All right. Uh, yes, you're a Baji. Say, where'd you get that fancy armor? I got it. You got it. <laughs> the goblin awaits your spot. Sorry, dwarf. Wow. I don't That's know why I think he's out. a goblin. Happen. Well, Florbo the Wise sneezes so loud, a tree explodes. <laughs> ah, it's. it's <laughs> oh, this is you responding. I don't know what kicked it into gear. <laughs> Did you do that? <laughs> I said that I sneezed. 
It, the game is completely ignoring my my existence. <laughs> uh, you gotta start. You gotta read from it's from the kingdom. at Barry the Bandicoot's Wet and Wild Armor Emporium and more. Well, we treat our friends and foes equally well. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Biggest of traitor turns and shouts. Elf, quickly take one <laughs> some food and water. <laughs> <laughs> Are you leading a fucking troop? I don't know. <laughs> uh oh, I hear. Briggs biggest food. Uh person foods. Oh. I have now assumed the role of elf. Love of the Wild brings biggest cursed foods of the homeland. Uh, you bring water from the river, but Elfa? Elfa? Okay. Know. Is so excited, <laughs> she drinks it all up. <laughs> uh, I assume this is Elfa. So are you friend or foe? Also, who is this last one talking? <laughs> uh, Either I'm not from the kingdom. <laughs> oh, what is our goal here? We're supposed to look for some kind of staff. Oh yeah, we're trying to find a staff. We got completely distracted with this band of. I'm gonna. Doors. I'm gonna say. Okay, I'm gonna say. Ask about the magical staff of Zalos. Because I don't know exactly what to say about that, so I'm just gonna say. Asks about. The magical staff of Zalos. I believe it was. I I'm gonna assume this is the 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 dwarf talk again. I believe it yeah. was taken to the other kingdom. You know, the other one, not this one. They would have centuries with with guns. What? It says, nah, if it were important, they would have centuries with centuries with guns. Uh, are, you not, are you not seeing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, I got an idea. <laughs> Don't worry, I got this. The staff of Zalos <laughs> falls from the sky into Mingus's head. <laughs> I assume this is you talking. <laughs> that's the one of that's one of them. No, that's just a regular old magic staff. <laughs> it's powerful, but only works one way. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, the, the AI was not happy. I tried to cheat the system. Uh. Over the way. Yeah. I just sent something. It's loading. Uh, you take a bite out of the staff. Then you notice <laughs> that the sky has gotten much darker. Elf, look! Sure enough, a group of dwarves are coming straight for you. Oh, the other dwarves are already here. Quick, <laughs> run to the trees! <laughs> uh... I like how it completely ignored what I said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, we're not doing that today. <laughs> there we go. The trees begin to uproot and walk away from the adventures. That's not exactly the way to the trees. <laughs> well, run then. So you and Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> who Alpha is run through the forest, eventually find a large tree large enough to hide in. I, my <laughs> character, by the way, has never existed in this story. I know, it's just Bingus uh, for some reason. Stands in middle of open field. Oh, field. And eats other part of the staff. 
Uh, from the wise stands very wise uh, stands in the middle of an open of open field. Damn it! Uh, and eats the other part of the staff. You, Alpha, and the dwarf run into the trees, and the dwarves circle around. And that's not going to be confusing at all. That we have a dwarf, and there's more dwarves, uh, and they're all unnamed. Uh, climbing, climbing up and down, down. the trunks like monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. okay, I got something. I got something. Uh, just need to make sure I spelled this correctly. Fingers the betrayer says, "Shoo, fiends, be gone!" Suddenly, a, Suddenly large... a large what? A large group of demons what? come out of the trees, what? flinging themselves at the dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I know what to do. Okay. Uh, you uh uses a fingers of betrayer, and I'm gonna include you now. Oh shit, dude! And Florbo, the wise. It's not gonna know what to do with this information. <laughs> Use the demons as a distraction and escape the dwarves. I can't, you just summoned summoned forest spirits. I was just trying to tell them to go away. Shoo fiends. Shoo! Uh, the demons make very poor warriors and fight extremely well. Okay. What? With a lack of <laughs> discipline. They fling themselves into the dwarves, which easily dispatches them. Uh, I, mean, I feel like we're not even in the story anymore. We've escaped and we're still focusing on the dwarves and the demons. Uh, here, I have an idea. Vegas. Florbo, Alpha, now she's part of the party, and the uh, dwarf leader. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have gathered quite a quite a group. <laughs> a story of Jesus. dwarves and demons, says Mike. Head to the local town <laughs> to hear tales of the. Sought after sought after one word. Uh I don't know. Yeah, it'll figure it out. Watch the story be like, and then an alien showed up. <laughs> uh meanwhile, you stay behind in the forest wondering if you'll ever see your companions again. What? <laughs> reroll that. Uh how do you reroll? Is it the refresh? The one? one that's like a circle with an arrow on it. Let's uh, try that again. Fuck you, Gabe. Uh, Fingers, Florbo, Alpha, and the Dwarf Leader head to the local town to hear tales of the sought after staff. No one has seen it yet, but they mention a man who might have some idea about the mercenary company, a man named Reynolds. Okay. Um, asks the location of Reynolds. Okay, Fingers I just goes found to him see Reynolds, but Alpha is worried about her boyfriend. Oh, whoever no. that is. <laughs> <laughs> I think Reynolds is her boyfriend. Oh, uh, I don't know who's talking. That's the problem. <laughs> Shouldn't you want to be with him? It's a long walk to the tavern. He'll be fine. Ah, uh, yes, of course. This is a logical conversation. <laughs> uh, the walk. To the tavern is a we... short one. Oh. I didn't put a space. <laughs> I'm gonna just gonna see what happens if I immediately betray it. Uh we walk to the tavern is a short one, but when you get there you see someone you don't want to see, of course. Glenn! Have you come to try and rob me again? Who's Glenn? I don't know. I'm gonna assume it's the dwarf leader. 
Uh, hey, okay. Reynolds, what's going on? <laughs> the story is now about Glenn and Reynolds. And <laughs> Glenn Elfins and Reynolds. There too. And, and Bingus and Florbo are floating around somewhere. Uh, Bingus the Betrayer says, Have you seen? Do you know? A muffin man? A <laughs> sentient growth named Glenn. Do can... you know where the... While you're doing that, I'm going to see if I can Magi find YouTube. And find some... Background oh, some, some medieval sounding music? Yeah. Good idea. Do you know where the magical staff of Salos is? Being the betrayer says... Do you know where the magical staff of Zalos is? The AI doesn't know what to say. Alter, undo, or try again. Great. Yar! <laughs> Reroll it. The what? You show Reynolds the magical staff you found in the stomach of a griffin. <laughs> where did you find that? In the belly of a griffin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, apparently, there's a third staff involved now. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> a griffin walks in. Hey, Reynolds, <laughs> I'm a griffin. <laughs> Can't you? I'm going to have to work with now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to know. A griffin man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hold on. I'm just going to I'm going to push it forward. I'm not going to enter anything. Okay. Will it do anything? I I push. Oh, there it goes. Okay. A griffin walks in, brushes itself off, and eats a rat. Hello, <laughs> Reynolds. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. I re-rolled instead of pushing it forward. It's fine. I think this one's also a great one. <laughs> a griffin walks in, brushes itself off, and eats a rat. <laughs> Hold on, I know what to say. Okay. Oh, you're right. It's not a griffin. It's a giffin. It spelt it wrong the next time oh around. Oh my god, it did spell it wrong. Uh, Bingus the Betrayer says, nice rat. <laughs> Thank ya. <laughs> Reynolds, Reynolds pats the griffin on the head. He's, He's all yours. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. He I'm most, happy for you. He most right, definitely. Definitely wasn't fine though. He <laughs> definitely wasn't fine though. Is that what you're saying? Yep. I spelt it right, but I don't care. Uh, he was a mess with long red hair and a beard and no shirt on. A griffin with no shirt? How lewd. <laughs> uh, oh god, it's getting horny. Oh no. Uh, we need to reroll it. We need to reroll it. Now, this is the staff of Zalos. I just have oh, it. Yeah. It has yeah. some charges on it to lift a curse off of some dwarf named Draven. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, accept the staff of Zalos from Giffen. Do you want me to go out with you? Oh, what? Nah, I can handle the dwarf. He's old news anyway. You he grab the staff of Zalos and heads out of the Tangle, head out of Tangle Valley. Okay, we're in Tangle Valley. We're not in a tavern anymore. No, we we're out. We're leaving. We're, oh, we're oh. heading out. Okay. Uh, so the dude, we're adventure... done, right? We beat it. Well, no, now apparently we gotta go do stuff. The adventurers head out. And begin their search for what was the name? Draven. Draven. I can spell right. Turned out he was killed a few moments ago from a demon that flew out of a tree. <laughs> the adventurers head out and begin to search for Draven. Eventually, you come across a small dwarven town. Clayton. Clayton. <laughs> 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 The guards, right, the guards say that he hasn't 
been seen in days, but they have no idea where he went. <laughs> um, um, I guess we should just ask around. Uh, yes, do that. All right. Uh, otherwise. I don't know. This should be a says. We should split up. <laughs> Wait, gang. <laughs> gang, let's split up and ask around to see if anyone has seen him. I am an elf, apparently. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I assume this is... No! Okay, this isn't anymore. So I'm going to assume... You elf and elf. <laughs> There's a third person named elf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, split up to go ask people in town. At first, nobody has seen him, but eventually you find him in the arms of a trollop. What is a trollop? Ask Google. Hey, Google. What's a trollop? Oh, it's a it's a a prostitute. Got it. Uh, <laughs> hold I on. Have it. <laughs> okay, I'm go, probably go. gonna I'm probably gonna regret this, and we're probably gonna have to undo it. But I'm gonna do it anyway to <laughs> see what happens. This thing is. Is trying its hardest to get back. Oh no! <laughs> hey, <sh> <laughs> uh, it <laughs> sh uh, you kill the troll <laughs> and throw her body in the corner. You, you begin to strangle Draven, who is helpless in your grip. Uh, we, we need to. That's not what I want to do at all. <laughs> nope. we, need to, we, need to, we need to re roll. Nope. Draven pulls out no. oh, a, no. <laughs> a second staff of Zalos. Oh, there's a fifth staff. The Zalos, right? Yeah, Zalos. Which he claims he got from the belly of a manticore. <laughs> 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 I don't know how to spell Manticore properly. Nope, neither does Google. So I'll just go with how I spelled it. Uh, he points it at you and shouts a command, releasing bursts of lightning. Uh, you back off and avoid the lightning while Draven makes his escape. Later, you're in a cell. The Mido. Kondria is the power. <laughs> <laughs> Three, uh, how the fuck yeah, my do you this? Ah, we can, just, my we can just undo it, if anything. Vitokajia <laughs> is the powerhouse. Uh, no. Actually, we're going to make Florbo say it. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to say it? Uh, yep. We're sitting in his cell and Florbo just says it. <laughs> Florbo is the wise says, the Vitokajia is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> the cell's the power source. Uh, oh, well, I guess that's somebody else asking. Uh, <laughs> yep. Without it, the cell dies. I'm going to need you to find the cell powering the town. The three of you split up. There's only three of us now. And begin to search the town. I think, I think when it says you, I assume it means Bingus. I'm assuming Elf means Florbo. And Alpha is just this random chick that has joined our party. Oh, I was assuming that um, when it said you, it was talking to the last person who spoke or oh, did an action. Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, I we're, Yep, we're searching the town from our jail cell. Uh, over the wise. Finds. The nucleus. New, 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 nuclear. Nucleus. Uh, <laughs> what have we done? What have we done? 
The nucleus is a large warehouse-like building made of stone and brick. A large metal door that you know has several guards in the front. Okay, we have now come up to a keep. <laughs> uh, oh, I, 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 uh, this is the home of Draven. <laughs> Just so we're back on track. <laughs> And this is the home of Draven, captain of his imp of the infamous mercenary company.
from otherwise a uh, from otherwise casts a spell on Bingus <laughs> to <laughs> enhance uh, his strength. But it has a side effect of. <laughs> Make sure you put a period because it doesn't know that the sentence is over unless you put a period. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Flow of the Wise casts a spell on Vegas to enhance his strength, but it has a side effect of changing his race to elf once more. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest the betrayer charges at you. His large fist <laughs> covered in muscle. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Biggest the betrayer punches Draven so hard he dies to death. Uh, Big Betrayer burns so hard he dies to death. Draven loses consciousness and falls to the floor dead. You and Alpha high five, and you teleport back to the, the league headquarters. Uh, the Giffen, uh, from, uh, uh, from before, joins them and eats the staff. Wait, were we supposed to use the staff to cure Draven of something? <laughs> No, no, he cursed the land. Draven, I think, was the guy that cursed the land. We were supposed to use uh, the staff to draw away Draven's curse. Uh, the given from before joins them and eats the stabs once more. That was a good fight, wasn't it, boy? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Reynolds, it really was. <laughs> I, I'm going to assume Mr. Reynolds is now uh, mounted is on top the of the, the Giffen <laughs> and is riding it <laughs> around. <laughs> Rip four screens. <laughs> yeah, no four screens tonight. Just one very large text filled adventure. <laughs> uh I guess the story. The curse okay, I, 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 I'll go, go on. Okay, let me just do this. Everyone jumps. Oh wait, no, no I'm gonna say everybody's <laughs> names. Bingus. Uh, Florbo, <laughs> Alpha, <laughs> Elf, Giffen, <laughs> Mr. Reynolds, and Mr. Reynolds. Oh, don't forget! No, no, no there was one more. The he's he said the name of the uh, the dwarf. Oh, oh, what was his name? I'm scrolling up. Uh, oh, this is the trees. Uh, Glenn. His name is Glenn. Glenn, okay. Okay. We put Glenn ah, between yeah. Alpha and L. <laughs> Bingus, Florbo, Alpha, Glenn, Elf, G Giffen, and Mr. Reynolds all jump up and high five. <laughs> Causing the curse to be lifted. And the curse is broken. Hey, and we did it! <laughs> hey, hooray! Holy shit, what an adventure. What an amazing adventure. <laughs> it started <laughs> off, our mission at the beginning was to find the staff. And that was it. <laughs> and we found eight of them. And we found so many of the same staff. <laughs> People showed up in our party. You summoned demons. Uh, <laughs> I just told I just told the doors to go away, and demons came launching out of the trees. <laughs> and I think I have to uh, start a new one. Wait, quest. Oh, you could add quests to the quest log. Okay. Uh, I want to start a new one. All right, let me pull the screensaver. Not like anyone is going to type out the whole fucking URL. 
uh fantasy oh well, let's not do fantasy again horror apocalypse cyberpunk battle or custom let's do cyberpunk all right generating story See Mike agrees. Uh, Alright. Let me send you link. There's no copy button, which is ridiculous. Okay. All right, you in? Yeah, I'm making a character name. All right. Why, hello there, bad cat five, bad cats. Question five. Hundreds and thousands of cyborg slaves live in a futuristic city of Zali or Zale. Uh, they are forced to serve various mega corporations and are severely punished if they disobey. They'll begin their workday salvaging metal in local in a local junkyard. They look around and see hundreds of broken down cars, old uh, furniture, and other assorted trash. They often pick up va valuable parts, such as computer chips or metal alloy, that they can sell for profit. Uh. Hold on, I got something to say. All right. Flumpus. <laughs> Go on. This job sucks. Uh, <laughs> and then it repeats it. You say this job sucks. And stomp your foot on the ground, destroying a small hole. A robot picks up a metal bar and swings it at you, screaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. I got uh, to see I. Oh, God, don't kill me. Uh, you see a robot approach you with a drill. You hold up your hand and show you are harmless. You feel a sharp pain across your chest as you drill as the drill breaches your chest plate and enters your oh. heart. I guess I died. <laughs> Uh, Bad Cat 5 says, hello, AI Dungeon is a text-based uh, text based horror game, so well done on the title. <laughs> what did you title it? Text-based terrors. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Keanu takes out his glasses <laughs> and exclaims to Plumbus, welcome to 2077. <laughs> <laughs> the robot begins drilling into your chest. Plumbus screams in terror as blood begins to run out of your mouth. You oh cough and God. spray blood around the roof. <laughs> uh, I died so fast. <laughs> uh, here, wait, I got this. Uh, Keanu says. <laughs> Take off his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I died so fast. <laughs> here we go. Keanu says, knock it off, you two. We have a job to do. The robot stops trailing and you collapse to the ground. <laughs> Keanu, okay. or I'll, 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 I'll enhance you with cybernetics. <laughs> Hold on, let me just say. This, this immediately, immediately went south. This job sucks. Immediately, the robot kills you. <laughs> say it. <laughs> Thanks, man. That almost tickled. <laughs> you gasp as you begin to breathe no more. <laughs> I died. I Keanu, tried to make it let me not die, and I died anyway. Yeah, and Keanu installs. <laughs> if I could spell correctly, cybernetics into Plumpus. Um, <laughs> is allowing them to take breath once more 
<laughs> Keanu installs cybernetics into Flumpus, allowing them to take a breath once more. You continue to gasp. Your eyes roll in the back of your head <laughs> as the robotic ports are forced <laughs> into your body. Keanu is a professional. Professional. I don't know how to spell properly. Professional. Thank you, Google. At this and nothing goes wrong. Uh, Keanu continues installing the robotic parts into your body and you receive a full set of cybernetics. Congrats. Flumpus eats the dead robot in a cyborg rage. Flumpus eats the dead <laughs> robot without any remorse. It begins to hit, hit, and eagerly and begins to eagerly await orders. The factory is one of the many in the city dedicated to a single job, manufacturing world robots for the government. Okay, I have something to say. Okay. <laughs> Good. More food. <laughs> spot a dead albino rat by the side of the factory you begin to salivate at the thought of eating it but flumpus stops you but but i'm flump <laughs> keanu put sun devices back on <laughs> you put on your shades and begin uh production work over the next three years you work your way up to the ranks of the company <laughs> you climb to the robot <laughs> the robot mountain to the top of the world <laughs> <laughs> Um, we don't even know what, to, what is our goal. We here? don't have one. It didn't give us a goal. Just like boom, you're in a factory. Uh, Keanu shuts down the war robot factory to make way for his newest restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> which I don't know how to spell correctly. Uh, uh, I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, Keanu Kyle should send... Tell me more about it. Uh, DCF! <laughs> or DFC? Mm -hmm. uh, as you're leaving the factory one day, a small man wearing a red and yellow uniform approaches you from the crowd. Oh shit! I'm gonna I'm gonna push it forward. I'm not gonna do anything. All okay. right. There's nothing. To nothing redo. to redo. That's, that's, oh, okay. Um, I think I just hit enter without typing it. Oh, apparently. Uh, he pushes a small cart full of documents and pulls out a data pad. I have an idea. Okay. Keanu feed that uh <laughs> what's your name? Flumpus. Flumpus. Is for processing. Wow, this music has really changed. It has gone from epic to this very lighthearted music. <laughs> Bobcat says multiplayer is always funny for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> uh Keanu feeds data to Flumpus the pro What? That's not how I typed it. Uh, <laughs> to processing uh, Emmy, right? You ask, looking at the data pad. I'm going to just push it forward again. Okay. Correct. I have a pass authorizing you to enter the top floor of the factory where the cybernetics are being used to create war robots. He says, pushing the cart towards you. Uh... Keanu says, I own this factory. <laughs> Tell me not what to do. Emmy. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> let's go then. <laughs> you say, grabbing the card and walking to the top of the factory. Okay. Uh, Flumpus reaches the top floor and can't believe what he has found
we await. Uh, you pull out of the elevator and walk into a massive room filled with dozens of factories producing war robots. Wow, this factory has smaller factories in it. Uh, from various <laughs> factories. Wait. If the room is filled with dozens of factories producing robots from various factories. Holes from the factory making the Wraith Fighter. Okay. <laughs> Turrets from the factory making the Destroyer. So now... So do, did we just get introduced to two giant mechs i think we just got introduced to the three different concepts all right i got this i got this uh bad cat says how long have you been playing ai dungeon in general i've played it a little bit by myself not I on stream not. i i believe brandon who is the other person has not played it at all and uh, this is the first time we've streamed it <laughs> which back is mine Wraith. Floor. Plumpus. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know what the uh, the icons do. The you can go back, you can go forward, edit the last thing that happened. I don't know what the pin push pin is. If you know what the push pin is, let me know. And then the other one is redo. <laughs> okay. Uh, Keanu says which mech is mine. I want the Wraith. Plumpus can have the other one. Uh, I want the horn dragon, says Bob. I'm oh, sorry, um, you say it. That's my line. <laughs> I want the horned dragon. The angel. The demon. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And the griffin. <laughs> Counts dread. Oh, who's dread? It's our buddy. It's Alpha's. Uh, uh, it's Alpha's <laughs> boyfriend. It makes the AI remember something like names, locations, etc. Okay. Got it. I'll have to play with it to figure out how to make it work properly. <laughs> uh, they they hop into their backs. I can't <laughs> believe the Griffin came back. <laughs> They happen to their mechs and begin driving around as you walk along the factory looking at the various designs. Uh, the stained siblings were here, you say. Uh, really? <laughs> I didn't see their signature. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um, and I don't know what to do with this situation. Okay, hold on. I'm going to story thing. Okay. This Suddenly. has turned into Pacific Rim at this point. And without warning <laughs> a the kaiju attacks stain siblings oh god jump out from behind the factory that makes death uh, Eagle Mechs And let's see what it does with that <laughs> Hello They greet You came back <laughs> You say wrapping Sister Stain in a massive hug Of course we did We thought it would be important <laughs> Great I thought you were an enemy But I guess you're our friend now uh, give me a second. So, uh, hey, <laughs> right. uh, you come back, you said, <laughs> you came back, you say, wrapping sister stain in a massive hug. Of course, we did. We thought it might be important. <laughs> Keanu notices <laughs> one of the stage siblings is very long, <laughs> while the other is really short. <laughs> hey, where are... Uh, you begin to ask, but then Dormir, you know, walks by and elbows you in the ribs. Uh, hey, watch the elbows, man. You'd say. <laughs> Who the fuck is Dormir? Is it the <laughs> other sibling? 
Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take some. Uh, a a, ma- a big move here. Oh shit. Death Eagle Hex. No, no, no. I wanted to word it long. I wanted to word it like that. <laughs> I want to see if the the AI just takes the word. Uh, weird. <laughs> Holy shit! Bumpus shoots oh, Dormir in the face. Uh, you draw your laser pistol and aim at Dormir, but then Bumpus looks at him with hatred in his eyes. Uh. Okay, I said something. I was gonna. Okay. <laughs> <Not missed. laughs> you killed my mother, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, I. Uh, Henry, <laughs> fifth year. Don't be a cute our mother. We don't trust anyone who's short. <laughs> I guess Fafnir is one of the siblings. I, I guess. Uh, <laughs> we needed a voice for Dormir. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> what, what about, about you, Krasnov? <laughs> uh, Krasnov <laughs> ignores them and continues to eat their sandwich. <laughs> Sorry, I was just grabbing a snack. Uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, now all the AI characters are talking to each other. We're not even in the story. <laughs> uh, Fafnir, Dormir, and Krasnov, you know, the uh, Stain siblings. There we go. Wait, what? Go on, say it. <laughs> Can I have a bite of your sandwich? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Wait, no, it's me still. Oh. Sure. Uh, you hand him the rest of the sandwich. Uh, I think this is also you. I think this is it. Plumpus now. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, no, no, that was Fafnir. Hold on. It was poison. <laughs> Whoa! Fuck! He says as he begins to vomit. Seriously? He nods. You begin vomiting as well as Dormir begins laughing. The <laughs> everyone begins to laugh and have a great time. <laughs> Uh, even Krasnov, who is still puking. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, what was the name of the guy who I tried to shoot in the face and then the game just the game just didn't do it? Uh, Dormir. I forgive you, Dormir. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's not really that bad. You still here with us? I, I really am. <laughs> sure. Uh, uh, Dormir. Is having a conversation with Dormir is now. <laughs> Pop cat says, a, or bad cat says, uh, okay. <laughs> Dormir is now a force ghost, haunting you forever. <laughs> thank you, thank you all. Says Dormir as he begins to fade away. <laughs> That forever was very short. What, <laughs> what would we do with our time now that Dormir is dead? Party! Exclamation point. <laughs> All right, let's have a party. <laughs> what is the, that? I don't know what our goal is. The party is soon interrupted. In inter interrupted by. A, a clown. Uh-oh. Clown robot. This ain't good. The size. <laughs> I said kill him. I didn't realize a, AI heard me. Of an F. 
It's gonna say Griffin. The part uh, of by a clown robot that was the size of an ant crawling up your table. <laughs> Can I have a drink? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. Can I have a drink? Uh, no. I'm just gonna say no, all lowercase. <laughs> okay. Oh, why would we give you a drink when you're a part of the enemy? Oh, uh, you mean like this? Uh, the clown. Uh, what did you name the clown? In oh, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, Bip Bippo. It was Bippo. Bippo the clown. The clown. Bippo. <laughs> uh, Bimbo. <laughs> pulls out a large rock that has the words uh Giffen <laughs> engraved <laughs> upon it period clown <laughs> bippo pulls a large rock that has the word Giffen engraved on it or, or this Bippo tosses the rock in the air and a small black portal opens in the sky from where a large winged demon comes to perch atop of the restaurant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did like the re that record screech and freeze moment in DBD where I was like, yes, I named him that. <laughs> yeah, I named him Bippo the time. Uh... The demon. I'm just checking again. I know that it's a stupid question, but do you know that if you just hit enter, the AI will continue with zero text? Uh, yes, I did do that. We've done it a couple times. It's a good tip, though. They don't really advertise that you can do that. Mm -hmm. The demon reveals itself to be Guffin. It will never oh. get the fucking name right. <laughs> the demon <laughs> alcohol. Oh, oh, oh this. is this still Bippo? Oh, oh, this. I mean, I guess we just hit enter and see what he does. Yeah, let's just see. Let's go. All right, you have <laughs> you've, you've had your fun. Yeah, I believe I did. I don't know what's <laughs> happened. <laughs> Bippo tosses. It's all good, Batcat. Rock. It's fine. Uh, this time. At a building, a large hall is blown through it. <laughs> well, what about this one? Portal uh, opens up and out comes a giant warrior on a turtle's back. He has so this ant-sized clown robot named Bippo is throwing these <laughs> massive rocks that are creating giant portals to some dimensions. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Cyberpunk, everyone. I don't know why they delayed the game. We just wrote we just wrote the whole story of Cyberpunk. Our, ours is better. Sorry, Cyberpunk. Sorry, uh uh I don't know who makes CD, it. C D Project Red. Ours is better. Ours is better. Ours is a clown. Bumpus smashes Bippo under his thumb. You grab Bippo with your gauntlet and break his thumb. Uh, he lets out a high pitched scream and falls to the ground, rolling around in pain. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's just think about what the, the, the imagery of what's happening. A clown who's the size of an ant who is also a robot <laughs> who, who talks like this gets picked up and I break his tiny little thumbs and he lets out a, a high pitched shriek and falls to the ground. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a freaking psychic pebbles cartoon right here. <laughs> he screams summons hundreds of more bippos, all of which begin pouring into the building. The rest of the siblings arrive. Reinforcements. I think these are the I think these are the stain siblings, uh, oh, as it right. were, and begin fighting the bippos. So now the stain siblings are helping us fight the bippos. Bumpus begins laughing. <laughs> this is too. E what did you write? <laughs> I wrote, I, his scream summons hundreds of more Bippos. Okay, and everything else came from the game, <laughs> the AI? Yep. <laughs> it, it decided amazing. the state siblings had to uh, come back in this story. 
Uh, this <laughs> begins. Keanu's just not here anymore, by the way. No, no, I'm fine with that. Keanu literally, all he did was take off his glasses and says, Welcome to 2077. Gave you cybernetics so you wouldn't die and then put his glasses back on and left. Oh, yeah. It bought a factory. Technically, <laughs> technically, this is his factory that you're all fighting in. Hold on, I'm typing something. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Flumps begins eating all the bippos. Uh, Flumps, you know, that's what we call him for short. Uh, <laughs> begins ripping apart the bippos until there are no, there are no longer any left. Soon there's just a pile of ashes. Hmm, <laughs> not bad. Uh, just when they think it's over, the. The Moab, mother oh, of all Moab? bippos. Oh, right. <laughs> Which is uh, shockingly the size of a regular clown. It comes out of the building and begins destroying the restaurant. No, my restaurant! Uh, uh, knocking boulders <laughs> into it and causing it to collapse. Uh, I guess this is the Moab. <laughs> no, we eat. <laughs> uh, well, now I have to make sure Keanu says the. My family. Diner. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> to a nearby all diner. To a nearby diner. Oh, the game thought you meant something else. Which you're able to enter freely thanks to a high position in the government. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's <laughs> right. quickly clears out. As you and the rest of the siblings sit down at a table. <laughs> uh, Keanu says, we must plan our attack on the Moab. Uh, perhaps, oh, I guess this is one of those siblings talking. Uh, perhaps we could lure him out into the desert and destroy him with fire. Uh, we could, could also build... use... We yeah, could... go ahead. <laughs> we could also build huge mounds and trap them in there. Bippo will never get away with this. <laughs> you quickly <laughs> open up a can of whoop asses <laughs> and begin throwing the biscuits <laughs> and the ducks flying over it. Fuck you, ducks. That was a close call. <laughs> Flumpus hates ducks. Uh, this, is a, this game is amazing. <laughs> the ducks begin <laughs> dropping food from above and the bippos fly away. I think it thinks the bippos are now birds somehow. Or, oh my God, the bippos are on the back of birds. Uh, let, me, let me write that into the story so it knows. Clearly, the ducks are in league with Bippo. The, bib <laughs> the Bippos ride on duck, duck back into the ride me. <laughs> into the sky. Very Overwatch style music is playing right now. Um, I <laughs> oh, this is you talking. Oh wait, oh, wait. I oh, wait, wait. it added that plan. It added words. Uh, the ducks begin. I don't know. The Bippos ride on duck back into the sky and gather their leader. I didn't type that part. I'm not sure <laughs> if that plan is going to work, Bippo. Uh, oh, this is also, this is Bippo, I guess. <laughs> oh, well, we'll think of something. <laughs> the Bippos. Oh, I almost felt it wrong. <laughs> I like the Bippos in our race. Like, we have created an entire race of clown robots. <laughs> the Bippos begin to plot with their rocks. Uh, and minerals away. Uh, <laughs> There's nothing we can do but wait, I guess. I'm gonna hit enter. 
Yup. <laughs> I'm gonna hit enter again. Hey, I doesn't know what to do. Uh, just hit enter again. The Bippos have a plan. Uh, they're going to release a bunch of release. guffins, just shit, from their cases, <laughs> so that they can all swarm the man. The plan is set in motion, and the family arrives at the diner. Oh, it's the family's no! diner. <laughs> it's Keanu's family. <laughs> oh, here. Keanu's family is here. Get away from my family. You <laughs> damn, damn filthy bippos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you all begin running for the kitchen. The bippos are riding their guffins into the building. We need to act fast. <laughs> uh, okay. Flumpus. Don't forget the uh, the Stein out. siblings are with us still. His uh, flame thrower. Uh, Flumpus Flump aims his flamethrower at the Bippos, but he's a little too far away, and they're moving too fast. You grab a shotgun and begin firing at the Guffins. The Guffins. I wanted to, I wanted to use the flamethrower. Fall <laughs> out of the sky, making the Bippos vulnerable to the flamethrower. <laughs> I spelled vulnerable, right? Thank you, Google. Uh, Guffins fall out of the sky, making the Bibbles vulnerable to the flamethrower. Flumps. I like that the game has given you a nickname. Uh, is oh, yeah. about to turn the Bippos into a pile of ash, but the fire is turned on the flaming Guffins instead, who begin burning very badly. Uh, apparently, the okay, flamethrower is something. sentient. <laughs> okay, I have something. E. Uh, you smile at the stained siblings and begin to laugh insanely. You begin stretching your body, sprouting a black substance <laughs> from your joints, and you grow larger in size. I'm just gonna hit enter. <laughs> your body begins breaking, reforming, and rebuilding itself into that of a bizarre creature. I feel like I just should keep going. Yeah. Uh... You take a moment to admire your reflection in the glass door of the diner as you hear a scream from Flumpus. 
who has been left alone with his new pet, Keanu. Oh, okay. I guess I should just say something, huh? I, yeah. I'll s Wait. You have a pet? Is that your friend, I, I Guffin? I don't have. I don't have any idea what they're talking about. <laughs> that might be your Guffin friends in quotation marks. Oh, I thought that was talking about Keanu. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. <laughs> the Mega Bippo is forming. <laughs> Mega Bippo, are you typing something or? Are you... Uh, no. I thought you were. Okay, I should say something. music got really intense i like that this play this like uh music track has gotten intense when the story gets intense no keanu i can't lose you too uh you try to grab a hold of the bippo but you your transformation has made you too large Fluff screams at his head <laughs> leaps onto his back and bites into his ear <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> Keanu begins to take form of a demon bippo. Oh no. <laughs> uh, your transformation complete. You take a moment to look at your new body. I'm gonna hit enter. See if it describes it. A tail grows out of your rear. And three smaller tentacles sprouting from the end. Your mouth splits into three more tentacles. Am I going Cthulhu? And you find yourself unable to breathe. Did, did I just become an old god? Uh, I, this feels very Lovecraftian. <laughs> uh, the madness. I say just hit enter. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's see what, what it does. You panic, trying to fly away from the diner, but you find your body incapable of movement. You scream as you watch the stained siblings being eaten. Your transformation is complete. Uh, the madness grows stronger, and the hippos begin to summon their final boss <laughs> oh no hey Merc's in the chat hey, uh, AI dungeon huh yeah well, you know it uh, the man is grows stronger the bippos begin to summon their fi the final boss the golem uh, you watch the golem. As, as the bippo begins just now a singular bippo begins to raise a glowing blue force field the rest of the demons begin to chant and you join them the golem appears and begins walking towards you all. This is supposed to be a cyberpunk story. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is more fantasy than any of the previous story. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I think I'm gonna make the game tell me how to defeat the, the, the golem. <laughs> you dare I... approach me. <laughs> <laughs> I know his weakness. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to right. see if it tells me if I say I know his weakness. You stare at Flumps as he spits some sort of green goo, which covers his body. The demons stop chanting and stare at him. What are you doing? The boss asks. I guess the... Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I guess you got you to gotta respond. He's talking to you. Uh, uh, I am going to tell you how to kill the golem <laughs> I'm assuming Keanu is the golem I I don't know anymore I think I don't know <laughs> I have found his weakness I just said that I uh, just hit enter <laughs> see if it does not work okay it's not the flesh it's the mind the boss says the golem stops in the center of the room and raises its fist okay this sentence is a oh lie. no oh no you, you can't type that into an ai <laughs> i just did it <laughs> it is um, not it is not boss says i am <laughs> you watch in horror as the boss 
Just small pile of ash <laughs> before the golem. <laughs> to the pipos. Well, I oh, killed the boss. And the now golem, it the golem's on my side. The golem betrays <laughs> its pipos and punishes. Pun, 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 punish. Oh, I put an S where it did belong. Punishes them for summoning him. Uh, the golem betrays the, its, its pipos and punishes them for summoning him by smashing their magical body into the floor, killing them instantly. The pipos quickly turn to dust and the golem raises its fist for a final attack. Uh, oh, I have an idea. Okay. Keanu uses his many tentacles that he apparently grew. Tentacles. <laughs> and ten. I don't know how to spell tentacles. 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 Uh, to hold back the golem. Fist from arming. What? Uh, Flumpus. Flumpus. And the sibling. Merc says cyberpunk turned cultists into something else. <laughs> and uh, the boss turns to ash. But where's my loot and experience? Uh, Can I use as many uh, tentacles to hold back the golem's fist? From harming Flumpus and siblings, your tentacles begin to glow as you prepare a spell. Using your staff, you prop yourself what? up against a wall and wait. Oh, I'm just going to hit enter. Hit enter, do it. Suddenly, the golem stops attacking and stares at you. It raises its fist, but then stops. It raises its fist a second time and a third and a fourth. <laughs> Keanu raises his tentacles <laughs> stay look the staff of Zalos in preparation for a final attack preparation. uh you take a deep breath and begin to glow the enemy of my enemy is my uh friend the golem's fists smash into each other and a loud crack as it begins to laugh. Let me do it, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. I'm the golem. <laughs> Did I just turn? <laughs> was was the spell turning one of his hands into uh, its own enemy? Causing I him to don't. punch himself? I think he was just like doing like a ha ha thing and like smashing his fists together. And I'm the golem. I haven't done the answer. <laughs> I <laughs> am Keanu. My friends. Call this is you. <laughs> my friends call me Flumpus. Nope. <laughs> but oh, my friends call me Flumps. <laughs> Keanu notices. But that's not my name. That Flumps. Flumpus. Doesn't go by flumps anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what are you called? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna reply. <laughs> you couldn't said I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Go on. <laughs> I don't care what you call me, but don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> I don't have a name. Well, I'm Flumps. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's you happening? I don't know. But I go by Keanu. Do you mean Keanu cards? I'm just gonna 
I'm, I'm gonna hit refresh on that. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I'm called Keanu. <laughs> I'm called Flumps. <laughs> the two of you stare at each other for a moment. Suddenly, Flumps begins to grunt and twist. <laughs> oh no, you're uh. transforming as well. Uh. Uh. Can't enter. Oh shit. No, oh, no, it's because I clicked the refresh button last, so that's what the enter did. Uh, <laughs> I'm not late. You always say that. I don't. <laughs> well, wait. Uh, are you sure? All right, here, here, I know. The golem. Keanu. Plumpus. The. Ah. Uh, what were their names? The Stain siblings. Unless you want their actual Stain. names. Because it's like Corvus Fafnir. Siblings. I don't. I don't. I don't want that at all. <laughs> also, my family's uh, there. Dormir. Keanu's. Family. And the five and, and the, the one remaining Bippo. The, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> and the last Bippo. All jump in the air and high five. The curse <laughs> is <laughs> broken. I was broken. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like it sounds like freaking Aaron from, uh, from Game Grumps with terrible dad jokes and a bit from the Mickey Mouse campaign. <laughs> what is this? What is this game designers? Uh, this game is a bunch of poopy buttholes. <laughs> I yeah. could have made a better game than this game. I want to go take a diarrhea dump dump and it would taste way better than this game. <laughs> oh, uh, I said stairs. Oh uh, shit! Uh, can you edit? Hold on, it? hold on. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna copy <laughs> it and undo, <laughs> undo. Okay, perfect. And then I'm gonna say story, paste. <laughs> We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Uh, <laughs> they all jump in the air, high five, and the curse is rugged. <laughs> okay, gotta go. See you later. Uh, Flumps shouts, running out the door. Uh, what do you, what do you want to do now that you're not a Bippo anymore? <laughs> <Keanu asks. laughs> I don't know I'm, who's answering I'm, this. I'm just hitting I enter. <laughs> I'm just hitting enter. You stare at Keanu. I'm not sure. I, maybe it's the golem. I'm not sure. That Mickey Mouse Capades episode was so good. The Golem ponders. Uh. <laughs> we should I think we could have a reunion. All the Bippos come back to life. All.
uh yeah i feel like i feel like that's a good place to call it on the the great war of the bippos has ended for sure <laughs> we predict the future of uh of cyberpunk uh, <laughs> all right if uh if you like what you see the follow is free it's getting a little bit more generous you hit that subscribe button if you have prime gaming ah uh -huh, i remembered uh, you get a free uh, subscription a month, and we'd appreciate it if you used it on us. Speaking of subscriptions, we have two YouTube channels, one where we uploaded our weekly videos, and the other where we uploaded our stream archives. We have a Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram for us, the behind-the-scenes content, and a Twitter for weekly and daily updates on what we'll be streaming. We have a Discord if you want to join us for community game nights or just want to talk to each other or, you know, want to play Destiny with me because that's basically all I do with my life now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you need any of the links, you go to carbyboarding.com. They're all on there. Uh, we also have a store where we sell the softest shirt we ever sold, a cool poster, and a nice poster. Uh, and there are two podcasts on there. Uh, the jojo podcast and the regular cb podcast both Mar on the same feed list so you only have to subscribe to one thing exactly uh tomorrow night is us me and you again uh yeah. i'll be playing remnant another souls like and, and i'll be there too <laughs> i bought the dlc so my plan for it is to uh Basically, instead of starting a character over from the beginning, because we'll never make it through the, all the old story and the new story, we could run through the old story as my old character and then go into the new stuff, which should be really cool because it I think it is the actual end of the story. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've never even heard of this game, and I haven't looked anything up about it, so I'm excited. Yeah, it's real cool. The soul's like this, so uh, I want to get my ass kicked. <laughs> uh, thank you, Logan, for uh, creating these masterpieces. They were they me. were pure, pure masterpieces. Uh, hopefully, we do this again in the future. Yeah, this is this is this is good. <laughs> I love this. It was so good. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll see you all tomorrow at six o'clock p.m. p.m. EST for some remnant from the ashes. Yeah. Good night. Good night.